Where were we at? Kind of annoying, my friend. Hey, brother. Can I get a buck, mister? Hello there. <laughs> sure. Thank you. Oh, thank you, mister. You own something? Who's this coward? Just leave me alone. Just shut up and turn back around. I'm just walking away. Oh, stop whining. Damn! Leave me. No, no. You want that smoke? What up with you? He's over there doing some cowboy things. About to meet up with John Marston. How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about and you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. You piece of shit. Well, where exactly are we going? I'm gonna see who you are. Alexa, help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. Let's see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you, we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. What's good Dutch with you? That's his gift. How's your day going? Thing. You probably at work. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? Hello. I was surprised pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is. But. What you been up to? Whoever this is. That thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton. Drop a comment for me. This century's coming. This life, this way. Well, we're the last, I reckon. Look at that. We ain't long for it. Bye bye. Yeah, that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. Arthur Morgan or John Marston. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. <sighs> You the local hard man, huh? You don't know me. Don't be like that. Real frightening. You're going down. Come on. Even a lawman can get shocked. We're ending this. <laughs> you done, my nigga? You done? Come on. Fuck wrong with her. Better stop playing with me. If you say a word, one word to me on the street, and you ain't prepared to back it up, nigga, better walk the fuck away. Yep. Can you uh, head in, 
pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you I ain't playing no games with you. Hello. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here. My face always in the way, bro. It don't matter how many dollars I got it. Let's get it anyway. That nigga still on the ground. Good? Sure. Somebody come pick his ass up. Howdy, sir. I hope they pay you. After last time, I'll be keeping an eye on you. Don't leave a lot of room. Shut your really going to do this song and dance again? Oh, now. Your mouth is as loose as a whore, my friend. What are you looking at, boy? I think it's time for you to Why move on to the pastures, that? as they say. Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. Keep it moving. We ain't on the Out best of my terms. You have Bro, this nigga lucky I got a mission to do. Half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Everybody want to smoke. So cage about all this. Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No. You <laughs> if you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl. What was her name? Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep kind of stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. That now, look at that. I got just the horse. Ooh. Yeah. Mm, he just ran into them cactus. Head up to the ridge up there. Get a proper view. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, you can. See from up here. I could have used binoculars for this. Okay, I think that's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Oh, I see. Is that necessary? Got the job done. It looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. Message. Or ignore me and shoot right at him. <laughs> that ought to do it. All right, let's go round him up. They would have went and told somebody. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, there, but not much. 
most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. <laughs> How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Yeah. It had to be done. Yeah. Something just fell over here. Oh, that was one of these guys. What are you getting off for? Oh, it was a bounty hunter. It's probably the ones the one of the ones that are chasing me. He's all purple and shit. Get out of the way, Martian. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Oh. Yep. Up, up. All right, I think we got them all. Let's head to town. You know what? Sheep to me. You ride Shank. Keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you. I ain't going the right way. You left one behind. Shut your mouth. Back to what you were saying. I heard eating and shit. Gonna run right into me. Where are you taking them? Quickest route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Let me hurry and see. Why are they running though? Oh my goodness. Just go straight. Hurting is hard, bruh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Oh. 
Close her up, boys. There you go. Hey, what are you doing? Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. You think so? I do math anyway. Calm yourself, friend. They don't know what percent they about to take. I'm pretty sure they don't know how to do percentage. We'll pay you. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Martians always in my way. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I. Uh, gentlemen. You're not wrong. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found That happens him when I wake up. Years ago, bookish little uh, off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Oh, Jay Sampson just died, bro. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? My name is Leviticus Cornwall. <laughs> Says you don't know me, but you keep robbing me. Messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Why not? You rob from me. Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a time, time for some dead eye. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man? Oh, for the sins Arthur Morgan got some green in his eyes. Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor do I. I didn't know how that was working right there. It wasn't like the regular dead eye. My man Arthur Morgan just stands there. Menacing. He ain't gotta take cover. Taking cover is for people that don't know how to aim. Where I just get shot from.
Oh. I might need to take some cover, bruh. It started coming out of nowhere. Jeez. That ain't go as planned. Maybe I do need to take some cover. I need to clean it. Put him on my horse. <laughs> camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure, we can't stick around after this. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he was already on the ground. I know that sucks. You should have stayed home. Yeah. Let's go. Go, nigga. Go. Over the fence. We out of here. To the river. They'd never come back here. I don't even think I've been back here. It's nice back here. Might as well see what Mike is up to. Yep. Even though I know he's an op, but I want to get into some mischief. Hey, 
We're all to strawberry. Why is it called a strawberry? It resembles nothing of a straw. Oh, oh, oh. This trail is crazy. And the big rock candy mountains. That's where we're going right now. A snake. Hit him with that throwing knife. Hey. Let's skin him. How many stars was that? Poor. Yeah. You're all right, boy. Look at the scenery. Oh, there's a question mark over here. Okay, then. Oh, it's a ram. I don't feel like hunting right now. Yo, it just randomly got hot. Dude, what the fuck? There we go. Gotta do how you gonna put a little bit on the Molly C for everybody. Oh, 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 oh. Let's rob this guy. Hey, Park, hold up. You in difficulty? 
I ain't playing. Slow it there. This is a robbery. I'm gonna end. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Holy hell! It's on the lock. We can't have you go tailing now. Turn it into a bad day for you, mister. Damn it, I'm in a fix. I get it. I won't say nothing. Don't. Don't. Jackass! God damn, idiot. Just isn't your day, is it? A lot of traffic around here. Should just mind your business. Boy. See, he was just hunting. He just had to say something. He was just mind his business. Exactly. Whoa, whoa, sir. Jesus. What the hell is damn? God damn it. Can't have you telling either. Shit, hell. Don't do this. Watch it. This is you better say shit. Of you. Well, okay, boy, let's go. Well, a lot of people keep seeing me, so let's go ahead and get rid of you. See, chat, this is what happens when you don't mind your own business. I got a doctor's note. At least you ain't dead yet. Okay, okay. Your secret's safe with me. I go back to work tomorrow, though. I'm out to tie this guy up, too. Well, shit! I know your type. Keep moving. I'll have nothing to do with you. All righty, then. You knew what was good for him. We're going for a walk. But yeah, I hurt my back. Which makes my legs hurt. Oh yeah, you got your other testicle removed, right? <laughs> Yeah, now nah, I have none. I don't need those things. Oh, you hear that cougar out there? Good luck, sir. Well, actually, can't have you running off. Yeah, it was a process, man. Now it's just a sack with no balls. You know, like, 
how uh, the gym teacher bring all the balls out in that little sack, and he dump them all out. It's just a, that little flat sack, all see through and whatnot. Timber Company. Head foreman. We still getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? I mean, <laughs> look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food, medicine? We're starting to run low and I can't spare anyone to go into town, not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Hmm. What I got? Something that just cost four dollars. Like a little bit of cash. Come on, boy. Yeah. Why can't I do the mission, bro? Ain't did no crimes. I just came all the way up here, bro. What crimes? from that uh, cabin up the way there, poor bastard. Well, uh, guess I'll tell the sheriff when I get to town. Can't rob that guy? Like I said, I should go let them know in town.
I'm sorry, I... Oh, no, you don't! Out of your hands now, mister! Now, I'm just gonna check your pockets. Is this what you want? Okay, it popped back up. I was about to say, bro. This be a nice place to live. Hey, I'm gonna let them rocks don't come off and hit you in the head. Why? You want rescuing again, dear? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. Oh, a plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. The O'Driscolls. Robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I think they're probably trying to set me up. For them coming in. <laughs> what are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean... How many men? Guns? Riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now. And you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. Robbery.
They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. They should be here any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah. my bullets. A Lancaster. What did I tell you? I click and butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it. Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right. Not to mention, as long as I ain't got to drive. <laughs> Damn. See, now we're being around. Back off. Why is it 
Every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscolls? <laughs> <laughs> You've got a point. Let's strip this coach then. It clearly is going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Get out of here. <laughs> See Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Okay, boy. Let's get back to the camp. Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, all right? Yeah, I want a lot of things. Guess neither of us is going to sleep happy. What? Well, well, forget you, mister. Hey, let me see that ugly mug. Hey, that's not fair. Don't hurt me. I mean, do you really want to test me? Oh no! Don't! <laughs> Let's go, boy. Horse is really dirty. Mm -hmm. There you go. How's that clean the saddle though? So we keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find some place sensible. Shake them. Oh, they packed all that shit up. Lying low. This is lying low. Turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. 
We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. So, we moving? Yeah. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Sure, this can wait. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made at Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh. Killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. The Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Uh, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Been shot. Let's be careful, Arthur. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. All right, Charles. Let's... Let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. Man, be careful. Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. It's okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He 
said, are, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Sie yeah, French. German. No. No, go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. They messed up. This way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. Uh, What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Hold up. Let me check this. Looks like they go down this way. Mm -hmm. so, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack, said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. They picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. I am all in that. Continues along the shore here. So like you were saying before, bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Uh, that kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. Year I think this is the right way. Give me a second. They carry on along this trail. So, you were saying? He did? And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Huh. Whoa. So where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. There he is. Quick, cut him free. Let's get out of here. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne! Vorsicht! Take cover! I see three coming this way. You get the hell away from him! You ain't gonna see another dog! What are we doing? This ain't even our goddamn fight! Doesn't look like it. Well, that 
That's done dealt with. You get him untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Hier drüben! Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Anyway, what were you talking about? All right, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Yeah. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? Wo bringen Sie mich hin? The hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie. Oh, me, bruh. Vielen Dank. That's how I be feeling too. Sie gefunden. And everybody in the world knows English. So it can't be that hard, bruh. Call it imperialism. Or call it an easy language to actually talk. Some of that stuff, I'm like, no, no way that's a fucking word, bruh. I'm just saying. Random shit. There they are. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wärst du gewesen. Meine Lieblinge, meine Herzen. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. das war. Vamos. Uh, Just can try to speak Papa, Spanish, John. Ein Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. I guess it was a pleasure. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing down there? You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone away. Bye bye. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. I haven't seen her in a while. You look pissed off. No more than usual. Okay. Just checking you're all right. Yeah, okay. Looking good, Sadie. Hi. Morning, Arthur. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Take care, Arthur. Good job finding this spot. You found it too. I wouldn't have. You hadn't talked me into it. 
Do you worry that maybe hey. we've lost our way? Up. What's How going on? Sorry. <laughs> it's too tempting. Ignore that. Damn it, Arthur. I Let won't me pretend sleep. ignorance. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Things seem bad. The world is changing, and I'm not making much sense, am I? Good morning, Arthur. No. Morning, dear. But somehow, you've summarized how I feel. I ain't giving them this gold nugget. Got the ledger. Oh, that was my money. No. Thought that was the camp money, man. Hold on. Oh, that is the camp money. Hold on, hold on. That's just to make sure. That is my money. All right. There you go, camp. be nervous being this close to the water oh don't you start <laughs> I'm just looking out for you okay I'll catch you later then okay hello Abigail 
Let's see how she smiled at me. Hey. How you doing, old friend? Um, it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a All we can do is win. Way, now, and keep winning. We're thieves. You know, the world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. I don't make this go fishing, man. I don't know I do all the shooting. Gentlemen, let me show you how it's done. Yep. <laughs> Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago, but what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us, where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you, of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich simple tins there must be down here oh this is perfect for you hosea you'll be able to play them like a fiddle nothing would give me greater pleasure but no buts not today we fish and we enjoy the day. no but today boo looks like law up ahead play it cool So no head. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> He must know that, I guess. Right. This is quite 
Some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagy McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. What is that? Hold me up. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Hey, cut that out. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? Oh! That is crazy. The horse died. Damn. Take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, Come on Archibald. We can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Cowell. Welcome to the chat. Please, my neck is on the line here. Drop a comment so I know who you are. Either way, I'll show you some love. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make We out here doing some cowboying with Arthur Morgan. But how's it going? Oh! Move. That must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Get alongside that flat carriage. You can kind of lean fur. Because you ride like my grandmother. You're so skeezy. I was. Are you kidding me? How do I only fall off? Nigga, I was on the side and you ain't jump on, nigga. It's making me slow down, bro. You jump, nigga. Oh my goodness. Jump. Closer. Get us alongside it. We were. Are we not alongside it right now? Do it. Jump. It's not telling me to jump. Bro. Just cause it is him, these niggas about to get it. Get off of me, nigga. Get the fuck off of me. The fuck off me. Yeah, it's over for y'all boys. What? That's not my fault, bro. I thought it was because I threw him off. I was I didn't do that. That was a cutscene. Put that gun away now. Come on, get to the side of that train. 
I need to get on this side because the other side gonna stop me. You did do something, nigga. Ah, uh, get off here. Come here, boy. Can you run for me, fat boy? Come here. You get your ass on the plane then. Come here. Mm. Come here. I ain't got time. Oh. Yeah, nigga. You my hat. I'm pretty sure you just got hit by that train. Come here, boy. You can't run from me. You ain't a gingerbread man. Let's get it. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. He ain't got a chance anyway. Oh, he just cut me. Oh, yeah. Drop that knife, boy. Come on, boy. You couldn't mess with my hands. My hat. Commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? You take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said. Just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people. Truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
the Rose Road. Parlor House. Road. Road. Very Road. Saloon owned by Road. The family. Road. We also have a general store. Can't wait to start a bar fight in there. Train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? The sheriff's office. Okay, this way. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real... <laughs> the mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will Fiend. this fellow on Fiend. straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Penelope. Well, and where are you staying? I'm renting. Keep that in mind. <laughs> church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses. Yo, Eric, you still in here? Rebel gold. Marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose. You start poking around. See what you can find out. <laughs> I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. Oh, uh, OJ Simpson died, bro. And it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellow Why does it still say one person? I hate when it does that. Line. Said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was but yeah, OJ Simpson died today of cancer. I didn't know you had cancer. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm lying. Swear to God, hold on. Stay out of trouble. Thank you. Oh, that gone. I will keep blocking it out. Hold on. Let me try to put my face. He dead, bro. Look it up. <laughs> Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see Facts. these great weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of Dang, this? that's crazy. I ain't even know bro had cancer. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know he had cancer either, bro. Don't hold think up. too hard. Oh, I can't see the. Ah, oh, hold on. Sure, why not? Great, Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? But yeah, I was like, dag on. Now I gotta post that edit. Sex. Look at that crap. Jeez. They just let the horse stand. That's got to be cows. But that's got to be like four or five of them. Oh, he's that big ass. Follow me. Uh -huh. Okay, boy. Let's go. Ugh. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still. And it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big... Crazy to think that now OJ dead, whoever did it could still be out there. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They still out there, bro. They still ain't catch this man. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something. But his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. 
See, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's why more people need to be in the chat. That shit was funny. But you, that's what I'm saying. With us going back and forth between the chat and real life and the comments. That's what I'm saying. Niggas should be having fun in here. But that's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna stream for another five hours today. Maybe even more. We don't know. Some dead end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so we pick up some supplies. I go to mm -hmm. relieve myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that tree. That looks cinematic right there. The door, and there's Trelawney sitting there. There gotta be something under there. Mr. Vandalin, I say, what the hell is The scenery. And he said, Bro found a red dead speed run. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little I don't get it. I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> what do you mean? Hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Oh, okay. I was like, what? Nah, not a speed run, though, because I've been doing a bunch of side stuff, robbing people. And then that's why I'm saying, if it was a speed run, I would have said no to this uh, uh fishing trip. I was about, nah, I got something to do, my nigga. I'm trying to make it as long as possible. And I'm trying to find a barber because I'm trying to get the handlebars. See, I would have mine all the way down, but my hair don't grow right. This is the spot. Down to the left. But I know Arthur Morgan can do it, but That's the cut. Had just been main missions. <laughs> Facts. But yeah, like the hair don't be growing. Like, ugh. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yep. Hey, those are the boats you mean? Yes. Good. By a gold boating. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Borrow? Those are our boats. What up, what up, what up? Welcome to the chat. How do you feel about the death of OJ Simpson? This looks like a fine vessel. He just died today. Hey. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. That's 76. That's not that bad. He was 76. Some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Uh, that's actually a long time. I'm having a pretty rough go at it. In 24 years. Ready to get up out of here, huh? You're too dumb for anything else. It's the next level. Too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. Now take us to the deeper water. Me too, bro. Good. Me and these characters have so much in common. I want to go push down a little kid right now. Stupid luck. Good fish. That'll do too. Oh, let's do some. You got no cocaine, huh? Let's deeper. just do this. I ain't, I ain't getting tired. Huh. <sighs> huh. <sighs> I don't get, I don't get tired. Bro, that just put me in the mindset. That's crazy. You ever like hear a song? Good luck, gentlemen. Cause I'd be like, I'm one of them niggas that be like, bro, I don't really care about 2016, 2015. Niggas be like, I wanna go back to there. No. But then like, sometimes you hear a song. That doesn't really be hitting. You really you start smelling stuff from back then, hearing stuff. You almost feel like you're in a room. Strong with good old worm. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Fish on the line, Arthur. Nope. They can't fish like me. Hey, hey, hey. 
bringing that thing in. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, huh, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? Ah. Uh. <laughs> you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Ha! Got ya! Shit. Got away. I used to go fishing with this fella back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue... I must feel like I'm fishing in real life with the homies right now. That's a head. sign. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Not bad, Arthur. Very sporting of you. Who's a sturgeon? Salmon I caught in Montana last year. We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. What up, what up, what up? Welcome to the fishing trip. Was the furthest east we'd ever been. Come hang out with the boys. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. It's like my fourth fish. Safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrol. King Cat's not number four pounds. Trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Where's the big ones at? Now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Where the big ones at? Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always... That's the difference between now and back then. Back then, one day you just leave ho your house... And just never come back. Never see anybody again. Move to the other side of the world. Gotta catch 126 fish like Boosie. Uh, when, who, when he do that? You talking about little Boosie? Something hitting the boat. Got a nibble there, Arthur. You hooked him. I hope it's the daggone big fish. What we came here to catch. Oh, he about to cross Dutch's line. Dutch's gonna get mad. There you go. That's a nice one. This is four pounds. Yeah, he got video in the wall. I'm gonna have to look that up. Maybe we throw Trelawney back in too. <laughs> hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. 
Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. I'm about to say yes, bro. We ain't. Right. Think we got a decent haul here. Oh, I thought he said we was borrowing the boat. Should we head back? We about to take this thing all the way back to the camp. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Oh, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you, boy. He not wrong, though. Now, That's what horses do. How about okay. They know how to get back. Uh, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me Give me some. <laughs> Hey. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Ooh. That's a banger. That's crazy. Nigga said the tater tots burnt and so did I. What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we need three, four mariners to leak up from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance us run, 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 run? It sounds like the big rock candy mountains. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. If there was later on, so I got to talk to my coordinator. All right, good luck. Thanks for dropping by. Use a real one. You got face on her? Oh, I'm about to say. Kind of like you did. Oh, bravo. Bravo. Well, you know, we should not let the folks back in camp think that we had two. Indeed not. All right. I think I. Well, I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. You said it right the first time, Dutch. I always know. Until Red Dead Redemption One, I got the prequel, I mean, the sequel, the you know what I'm trying to say. Just... That shit happened before this, and you was the op in that one. This place will be good for us, for now, anyway. I hope so. It was a nice fishing trip. I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. He must have kept them. I ain't keep shit. Oh, who's singing? I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Yep, yep. Okay, Arthur. What beautiful music. Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. 
And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Shocking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Nah, Morgan? I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> it better pay up. Why you gotta loan somebody money all the way over here, bro? Let's go get it from these person first. Hold on. Yeah, I guess it is. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. You okay? Hello. Yeah. Are you serious, you stupid horse? Might as well loot them.
don't look quite right. When use? Start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. What up? Everybody. We're right now. We're sorting people. But you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. Welcome to the club. But, uh, well, uh. Hold up. Hold Do not answer. Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you, you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well... The morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. I'm seeing lights turn off in there. Oh, that blew out the candle one. Okay. You head on in the church. I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus. Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she... <laughs> There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your auntie's long. Get out of here, kids. Move. Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy. <laughs> That'd be sucking right there. was on my way anyway thank you very much no one got manners no more not even <laughs> you better get up out of here son now go watch the gate i'll get to this uh i ain't playing no games with y'all that lucky guy can't antagonize no more Yards closed. Get out. My my. I guess I'll come back later then. Quick as you can. <laughs> Ain't playing no games with all people, man. Stop playing with Arthur Morgan. yourselves a preacher you hear this fella i heard him all right we're gonna <coughs> lick you bastard i'm gonna beat you boy you gonna get it 
Y'all boys can't hang with me. Our boys thought y'all had them hands. Hope this whole dug. In your pockets. Got some gin on them. You were married. You should have never came out here messing with me. I ain't got nothing to lose. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this will do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. I can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh. <laughs> That, that's more than than clear what I what I owe you. <laughs> Nigga still ain't got a. What up? Welcome to the chat. If you leave, you's a bitch. Gotcha. Gotcha. Ha ha, you's a bitch. Yeah, okay, boy. I knew it. wrong with him you're all right boy all right boy Bing, bing, bing.
be twisting my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? I ain't for hire, lady. Find someone else. No. Oh. Send some smoke over here. Letter to Bonnie. Is that a crab? I ain't never seen a crab before. Where'd it go? crabs up here learn something new every day it may not be useful or important but it's in there now open your damn eyes many folks about you goddamn fool i'm gonna send your brains in a goddamn oh. This friend knew what's up. So why you just don't talk shit to random people? Just pull out a gun and shoot you in the fucking face. Why is he stopping like that? There we go. You freaking idiot. Jesus. Hey, hey. You okay, boy? 
Exactly. You saved me, partner. Woo! I was almost a meal there. Good luck to you. Watch out for yellow eyes. Well, I will, friend. I will. Let's go, boy. Yeah. In Alabama, she was swinging hammer. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Hmm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. Please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. We'll, um, uh, need our horses. It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive. Okay, follow me. Drive. I'm driving. Make me come out here and make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious. That this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. Hey, how about this day? I guarantee you paint. Because I'm gonna get that money out of you. If I gotta squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're on to it now, okay? We're on to it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. It better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. <laughs> Up here, we ain't too far now. What I know about cats, 
This one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Try. No, all the back ways. This is it. Her den. We should leave the horses. soon quiet now won't be able to miss her shining in the dark you hear that there's a cougar in here and i bet she's white as virgin cotton The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for... Yeah, yeah. There's a corpse down here, an old one, another body. She got him. Crap. Damn dead, dead. Exactly. Why didn't it do that the first time, bro? Put it on the gun. <laughs> what? It didn't shoot. Let me shoot, bro. I was about to say. Cause it wouldn't let me shoot, bruh. Okay.
SWAT. Better be rare. Oh my god, they lucky I don't have time. Can I help you? They don't remember my lighting this bitch up last time. I really don't want to know why you're wearing all that thing. Three dot oh. oh Forty one dollars, okay. Much appreciated. Biden's my load. Thank you. Bing, bing, bing. Do this home robbery. Strawberry, if you could just guide me back. Think I give a damn? Well then, and here I thought people were kind out west. My corpse will lay upon your soul. Hello! Why won't anyone help me? Have you reconsidered? That is good news. Look what we got here. What the? I can't believe it! Christ! What the hell? So, what do you got for me? No, please don't! Someone, please help me! No, no, what the this hell is happening! Have you done this? Anybody? I need help! Please don't do 
Have the last This here's a private mm. camp. Go away. Now, that ain't too civil, friend. Go on and get the hell out of here. Let's see about this. <laughs> No. See how long that thing can stay in the water.
He's gone. Easy now. I ain't even mean to shoot it. It must be about to drown though. I figured it'd be tired by now. Chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I, I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? I... Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Yeah. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Oh, so... You're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans <sighs> of stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> It helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 50 Big ass bass. Fish. My card and a map. Well, maybe a shell. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. <sighs> okay, boy. Let's go.
Thanos way. Hey, Arthur. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or uh, fish lovers? Uh. My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most <laughs> folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> You ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? All right, let's do this. Easy. How far is this place? Bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. 
I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. That's from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box to buy his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that. Suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, torn me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much for them. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Howdy, partner. Oh, here, Morgan. <laughs> Let's leave the horses here and go the rest on foot. I want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. There's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed six posse alarm and headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right ah. here. Hey, go, Parker. Here come the rest of them.
you. I ain't armed. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep it. You got a cold one, Morgan. A cold one. So, here we are. You got some good stuff. Why don't you see what you can find, Sean? Told you we take a no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Dug this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Did you find anything yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? It's over there. Hey, this is more like it. Good work. Hey. What about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know. Folks got stashed. <laughs> There's got to be other places out there like this. is a pretty pickle. What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's a <laughs> stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals, they escaped. And now I'm, I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. 
and a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Madam. It's bloody Margaret, not Madam. Margaret. Mistress of fucking danger. Yeah, they're going it. Drops better not rub off on my pants.
Him, our zebra. <laughs> well, you can call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion, a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience. <laughs> Hoodwink our audiences. Hoodwink. Dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. Dear Lord of the stage, dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between prose and poetry, it's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as, as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment. Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please. I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. <sighs> Come on, boy. Just down. On Caliga Way, old boy. Won't be able to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no reason to jump. Mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and, uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Your lion from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> of course. This way to go. Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I left... I got it. Got the trail. These are paw prints. Uh. 
Looks like that blood. Shit. What's this? Found your dog. X dog X line. Hey boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. <sighs> That'd be stripy. And I always thought they got along. But your tiger is a wild cat? Uh-huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. <sighs> well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. <clears throat> The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log then. Okay. <laughs> Dang. Rubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, a dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she ate the dog. Like I said, they was friends. They do look you like a tiger. Oh, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. The real cat would have heard that. each other sure did mr margaret jolly good jolly good you know tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing 
I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not royal command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Oh. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. Oh. grateful. Oh. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. seen a dog, a big dog around here? A dog? I don't know what I see, but they got a trap in the barn there. Okay. Hold your side! I am holding it! Hold yours! Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looked like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, if you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. Yeah, boy. Didn't look like no dog. Come here, boy. Let's go. Hey. 
It should just sound like a real one. It is a real line. Damn, slice my throat. Slice my throat. I thought I was going to try to run, nigga. First instinct, fight or flight, nigga, I was about to flight. I took the head. Whoever on that beast got some answering to do. Let's go, boy.
Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's the worst thing. That's not happening in real life. You gotta kill your horse. All your bones are probably broken. No bueno. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! It's lit! Odysseus returns. Sally, get the cages ready. Odysseus. A man-eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for... You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A knew. goose? will hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand. And they feel the roar. And they... Well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Rama, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado. As green as the rainforest, as clear as the that's it, fake man. As dear as all the gold in the Andes, one man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait, I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? <laughs> what would Daddy say? <laughs> yes, of course. A promise is a promise. <laughs> Sally, get the wagons moving. He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. <laughs> Good day, sir, and thank you. The great okay, hunting ground in the sky. Yeah, we'll keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me. So long, Mr. Morgan. I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. All in good time, my dear. Hey, Mr. Oh my god! And we lit! I don't know the words for real. Is that a cow? Oh, that's a goat. Okay, boy. Fing! 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 Yep.
Bean. Bean. Cause we got a long ways to go and a short time to get there. We do something we can't do what we done. I messed up the words, but it's all right there. Myself today to see you. I'm done listening to your bull crap all day, every day. That's it. I'm gonna knock you upside your head. Get back to work for a bucket of This ain't how it looks. I can't believe that worked. Yeah, well, we don't got time to celebrate. Come on. So, what's your plan anyway? Plan? I plan not to get caught. Serves him right. Shut up. Hurry up. I'm about to say, I'm just pretty sure can't have that on. They have nothing to do with me. Tell me, who was that bad in Valentine? Bad enough to need to move, that's for sure. Mary Ann, Mary Beth. So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine, for now. Yep, should buy us a bit of time, I hope. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sure. Please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a hand. Lady. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for <laughs> dinner. <laughs> damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. <laughs> Enough, both of you. <laughs> well, come with me then. You want to head out there, run with the man? Thing is hunting us, so they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. Batty. Need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> yeah. You 
You cool down then yet? I guess. If I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Well, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. <laughs> <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, you are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah blah blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Assure you, it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look, we're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Gilgore. Oh, that, that's Dutch's idea. All males set the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells them to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. <sighs> okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No! You insane! <laughs> I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. What's in the parcel? Look, get some ointment, all right? Too. For a private matter. God, Vera must be going. Don't mention this to Vera. They wanted me to hear that for a reason. Morning, mister. We've had quite enough of Come your on. kind here. What'd you say, nigga? <laughs> you best watch your mouth. You ought to wash your mouth out. I ain't taking that crap from the likes of you. For pity's sake, let me be. Don't be a fool. You win, you win, I'm leaving. Who's this coward? Please, why don't you just go away? That round little bitch. Say nothing to me, my nigga. And I try to agree to you, my nigga. Hey, fellas. Hey. Hello there. Morning. Morning, partner. So I thought show some god dang respect. Hey, the very good morning to you. How oh, thank you. Good morning to hey, you. Not my good morning to you, sir. Yep, that's the word in town. Sir, good morning. Morning to you. How do you do? Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. I dare y'all to say something. It's bro from earlier. Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? 
I did not attack anybody. Bro, what? Who did I attack, bro? I attacked them with my looks? I'm just so ugly? Oh, hey, late. Good morning. You back to solve more trouble? Listen, you won't get no trouble out of me. So, don't worry. Take care now. She remember from last time. Well, when did I attack a Rhodes inhabitant? Hey, she look good in them clothes. You looking good there. You get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know. Know what... Ooh, a harmonica. I'm gonna have to get that. I'm gonna have to find that harmonica for you, Sadie. Hey there. Hey. What uh? What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in the Morn Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull out Sadie already pulled out her gun. That's what I said. Hi. How's about this? Wow. How's she gonna miss? She's shooting at. You got, you coward. I think we're good here, Arthur. I shoot. All right, I'll drive us back. No, past those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. <laughs> we show those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. This should make a game. Well, no. Are you gonna tell Dutch? But if there was a female antagonist, Sadie would be a great character. You sure this is the right way? Who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbon Pierce about that letter. How dare you! I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post. 
Anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of Baldur's. Not a chance. Yeah. Killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Hey, Jack. Arthur. Who said that? Arthur. There she is. Hi, Mr. Morgan. You good, Abigail? Hi, Arthur. It's five hundred dollars in here. Will starve. Come on, we've been at this for too long to live like this. Where's the food thingy? Hey, Mrs. Adler. Hey, Mary. Next time we run an errand together, remind me to pack more bullets. Come on, Arthur. Don't pretend that wasn't kind of fun. Okay, I'll catch you later then. If you say so. There he is. The man who saved my hide not once, but twice. What you want, Micah? Nothing. Just saying thank you, brother. I can't call you brother, can't I? I think I like you even less when you're friendly. You're the first person ever told me that. Mm. 
Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. Hello, Arthur. Those loans are coming in. Are they? Good. Check the box. So, what do you think? What do you mean? About those two families. The rich ones in the big houses. I don't know. Go have a look around. See what you can find out. Calmly, I mean. Sure. Dutch and I, we both think there's money to be made. I hope so. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. Hi, Karen. Just leave me alone. You seem in a good mood. I do. You're a pathetic man, John Marston. Don't I know it? Hey. Marston? Yes, Arthur. What are you up to? Thinking of heading out in a bit. Okay. We'll catch up with you later then. Whatever. <laughs> Someone's angry. Hello, Arthur. Is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. Well, I should get back to it. Whatever you say. I was thinking, even if I die, at least I won't have to see that board no more. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Yes, uh, I'll remember that one. Arthur, you going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. All right, boy. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. <coughs> Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, <laughs> you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. 
So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. <laughs> this strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or cr... if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese? Hey, be careful. I want to hook you, Arthur. You get many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm... I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. There you go. Nice. Good catch, Arthur. Now see if you can hook another. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Cone. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. <laughs> that why you like this spot? My lord. There's some hey, to go to confess. Hey, what's the Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. Why don't you get the hell out of here before we hook that maggot of yours and see what really bites? Well, aren't you just perfect charmers? Good day to you, then. Let's try our luck somewhere else. I know another spot where hopefully we won't be interrupted. Sounds perfect for the drowning. <laughs> Very fun. Hey, wait up! Hey, wait up!
Uh. Hello. I've been meaning to try this spot out. Welcome to the chat. If you leave your bits. How's it going, though? Come on, Arthur. Let's walk down to the beach. How's it going? How's it going? Hope we land this monster. Uh huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. Look at the scenery. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. It might be putting up one hell of a fight. The thing do look kind of fat. But that's not the big one we saw. Nope. Throw him back. I got red eyes. See? Look at this. Life ain't so bad. Who is this in here? At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner. Say so. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time. They're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes. Oh, y'all see them fish over there? On the, oh, it was like in the bottom corner. It's gonna pop up. They're gonna swim up. I know that's done late on mine. I bet you got the big one there. Not sure, but he feels big. Whoa, no diddy. No, that's not it. We need a ten pounder to pop up. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on, I'll see you later. Small ass fish. Let's go here first. Why is every fourth hoof hitting the ground? That's what it sounds like. That was regular now. Y'all heard that though, right? I don't see no slaves out here. Oh, there's one.
Pretty sure this is set after slavery though. Today's subject, slavery. Why is he coming down the hill like that? Yeah. You're all right, boy. Watch how fast. I bet you the moon will move fast. Whoa, easy. Oh, no, nah, it ain't moving. Yep. Oh, it should be moving now. Let's see if it is moving. through don't mean to intrude on your politics damn jackass they look I can't cause no trouble up here Plantation. Yep. Caliga Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Why did my horse walk away, bro? I remember doing this. Why can I run? Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. <laughs> looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. <laughs> what secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaite's. I don't want to kill anyone. 
I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. I right, get your ass up. Trying to be sleep. I don't see nobody on the map though. Oh, there we go. Penelope Braithwaite. Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages or... I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, 
They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Is this nigga not on the path? Y'all seen that tree move, didn't y'all? Official business for the family. All right, come on.
You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Come on, come on. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I don't agree with this whole thing anyway. You know that. <laughs> Do something, please. Now, what? Guys, Fight this mob. We must begin. They leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. I don't agree with this. Miss Calhoun, Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun, normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Boo. Well, I ain't never been in a... Should have never done this mission. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> we'll mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters, we cook the food now, that we now. fetch. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it, all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. It's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. Make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, don't give it a rest, you sorry fool. 
Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. All close there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get your okay, boys. Come on! Come on! Go home! Go home. Go. Shut your mouth! What are you the doing? hell is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. Today, Worst mission in that game by far. Live as equal. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Oh, me. Free just as the founding fathers intended. Wow. Mm. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Ah. 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 His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. <laughs> you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. <laughs> Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, no, you always will. Bo, little where are we just leaving? <laughs> well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? <gasps> Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Whoa, he just appeared on his horse. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before. Kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all the time. <laughs> the sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. Oh, <laughs> gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive <laughs> bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so well, is that what they call it? He's yes. acoustic. Oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick we don't care. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn. I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Uh, <sighs> I guess you took that seriously, whoever's in here. If I said you leave, you a bitch. Do the Dutch match the last. So I'm pretty sure that's like, well, all the yellow ones are main missions, but 
pretty sure that's like the main main mission. Bro, you saw me freaking coming, bro. No, you saw me coming, bro. Mom, leave me alone. I wanna be famous. I wanna be famous. Yeah. Okay, there, boy. The hell was that? business and keep walking huh don't have to tell me twice real stupid pal oh. I think that was real stupid of you guys Won't gonna tell me it at night. Ooh, I ain't thinking of knocking the horse down. Too bad I can't cut you loose. that tree that's how you know we're back to camp we're heading back that's the tree in question the one on top of that hill right there over yonder The food, Joe. Uh, I don't know if it's the trail because it means I work, so you don't have to. That's not right, is it? I guess not, Miss. You're right, not Missy. On. You got on her head, boy. There she is. Another morning. Doing a good job there. You mind leaving me to it? Sorry, shouldn't distract you. Sure, okay. Morning. Morning, Arthur. Everything okay? I guess. Bored. 
Well, we need to get you out on another job again soon. All right, Arthur. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. Do they see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Kieran. Mm-hmm. Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Who's back? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You okay, Arthur? You want to talk? Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? 
I've been killing a lot. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well, you know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. You're up, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike could put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. Morning, Mr. Morgan. I posted that letter for you. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Anytime. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure, well, as you were. Mr. Morgan! Morgan! Reverend? Hello! Hello! What do you want? <coughs> I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. Always good to see you. Good morning, Arthur. Good to be warm. Sure. How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. I just talked to you. you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Well, she always like this. I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. We'll just <laughs> do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I could steal another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. That's 10 right there. Why can I? Oh. Give me another 10. When I walk around Rose, it feels like a town trapped in time. It really does. 
fit in. Another ten. Oh, she got her ten. Okay. It's the only one I got. There, but all for nothing. Nothing here. Oh, I put on the wrong way. Ah, oh, stupid. I'm done. Must Domino. think you're real lucky. Yep, there. Damn, fine here. If the Pinkertons could see you now, killer, bank robber, Domino's player. Well, you gotta keep them on their toes. Not the way you wanted to get arrested, though. Imagine the newspaper headlines. Well, keep your eye out then. Hmm. When I take a shit. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, it's not. So that's five. Oh, those are fours. I'm tripping. I still get some points though. That's not pretty. That's not looking up, amigo. 
Nothing on this one. Uh, there, that worked. Oh, you're thirsty. I didn't even know I was about to school. I ain't even counting. I guess I kind of feel bad for you. Sorry, Ski. Sorry about that. Might go take a dump.
back. Oh, she looked better from far away. I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he, like he always says, loyalty is everything. So, Arthur, excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. Information. <laughs> so you got some tip off. So now. I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say <laughs> so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's a bubble little <laughs> stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. Well, I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you <laughs> should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's... <sighs> oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train, very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way, bunch of smart Alex. How you get wind of this old lamp? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while well, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do it uh, Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> I've been watching them. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. They'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When soon we come soon. For Christ's sakes, I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There, you see, gentlemen, <laughs> just like clockwork. to get shot but this is a mistake i work for cornwall kerosene and huh? mr leviticus cornwall oh great so you know <laughs> who doesn't i hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much oh he'll miss it okay why don't you check out around the back arthur help me out here Okay, we're 
looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! They can say something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Out of sight. We'll stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Uh. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey. Shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Hey, now, let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... 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 Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Clay, Clay, tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. God damn it, Arthur! What was that? Let's fly at them, boys. 
Why'd he shoot him? It would have been silent. Get out of the way. What the hell? Get under the right cover, bro. We should go give him a hand.
Hell's still alive. Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got Cornwall on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, state. leave it, Gwon. Get out of here. Every man split up, Gwon. Run, quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. Ooh, I don't know how he made that. Both his front legs should have broke. you want you okay <laughs> do I look okay <laughs> no you look awful Ugh. awful look at me useless I wasn't born to this I didn't deserve this I used to be a gentleman Jeremiah Compson Compson stead good for you if that's anything to boast about they took everything from me who did they and what did they take my whole life a whole way of living a career i stole a lot of things but that's quite a lot to steal look at me here living in the shit in the mud i'm sorry <laughs> my old house the house my grandfather built it's all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. It's north of... Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Harris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Let's go, boy.
No. Are you Boom insane? next time. Major, watch, pistol. Oh my goodness. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Okay, where's all this old crap? Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey any time. Bill. Yes. Uh, 
trap door, huh? <laughs> what you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours. <laughs> Finders key. You got a, a, a blunderbuss. Ah, son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it. damn it! Come on, Dan! Where are you going? Oh, come on! Gonna get you! Still got slaves down here, didn't he? Child, twenty dollars. <sighs> so it's like a poor because you ain't got slaves no more. complaints from customers and fellow employees alike we must terminate your employment there's just no place for a man like you at the central union railroad company Show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh man, some jobs ain't for saving. 
And some legacies? Oh, they are pissing What off. are you doing? That's, that's my history! Damn you! Damn you! I still exist! Trying to get these Move supplies through, to the boy. federal building. We just looking for cargo need. here. Federal ain't got no authority here. The real Lemoyne state government's running this road. Move along if you know what's Fella smart. Look crazy, no crazy. Love you, gentlemen. It's paying tax to land grubbers up north. Oh, now get out! Shit. I declare these goods the property of the citizens of Lemoyne. Let's move. Let's go, fellas. Real man would stick up for himself. I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> we gotta walk home.
What you looking for? A paper? Thanks. Have a great day. Well, welcome, partner. First time? Some ammunition's on the shelves, but I keep the guns locked. Take a look at the catalog, and I'll pull out anything you'd like to see. Take a study. No semi at all. Choice. I'll take this. Let's keep looking. All right. Not done shopping? All right. Been a mite suspicious about the new faces in town. Rhodes is welcoming to be sure, but we can't just let all types have their way. Are they talking to me? Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh. I'm so sorry. Sheriff! Gray. How are you doing, sir? Uh, what business you boys had? We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. <laughs> Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? <laughs> Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down. Set Not down. a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Yeah! Archibald, how are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. 
Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. <laughs> Dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. Oh. Grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Whoa. Hold up. You see that wagon? This must have happened recently. Hmm. Hey, come have a look at this. Damn, fly! Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay, we should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. And then this thing is gonna get on this side. Taking the reins. I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. They're right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. But drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's <laughs> arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to them. 
Don't even look him in the eye. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill... Me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. <sighs> Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The chickens have a fine idea. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Yeah, we can't kill him. Just drop him with the others. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about it. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear.
We got some trouble here. That was a close one. No Where did they Get out of here. Fine by me. Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. <coughs> ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug huh? or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. 88. My cousin, Webster. He used to say some of us is uh -huh. as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life, right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Get up. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set, go.
in the wind. We didn't have a chance. I'm gonna suck up. Damn, he's way back there. I don't know what he thought. I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Miss Roberts. You seem in a good mood. I guess. Hey there. Never knew you were so good at dominoes, Arthur. You're a good worker. Thank you, Arthur. What have you been up to, Arthur? You look odd. You want to talk? I don't know. I just don't feel myself. You've been out a lot. Sure. Anything fun? I've been bad. I've been killing animals just for the hell of it. That's it. Well, I've also killed a bunch of innocent folk. I don't know why. What's wrong with you, Arthur? I just get so angry about everything, about how this is going to end. Well, it'll only end well if you keep your mind, Arthur. We need you. I know.
Harper. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. <laughs> anyway, the slave girl go up, up. Money? To, reckon there might be a bunch of cash yes, just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right then, let's go rob some food. Yes. I don't think this law disguise is Mary Beth. You've clearly been looking after that horse. How old are you now? 21, 22? You know, you shouldn't ask a lady such things. Mmm, he's that old you yeah. Come on, it's this way. On me. I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. <laughs> I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one in the same thing. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Pecklewood idiots in the state of Lamar. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. <laughs> I call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this, but most of it is a, a glass. I don't remember this mission either. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west, it's out west, is out west. And you're all who you are right. decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. They would have lynched you by yourself. <laughs> It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, 
I'm gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Can't put on the horse. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. I don't think this is the place to be leaving the horses. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there. The whack. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Did he just fall? That nigga fell. Oh, where'd it go? Fault. Come on. We can get a view on him from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. See anything? No. Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. Down by the road. We'd do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? They got men covering the house. We got men everywhere. Off near the porch. I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot. Then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. Just give the word. I'm gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. So, you gonna make a move? <laughs>
Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. I think the water's got to this stuff. Hey, this could be promised. What do you got? We ought to check them before we drive them out of here. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. We need to get these back. Ha! Come on. G up. Fall in. Yeah, yeah. Hey, riders, coming our way. Okay. Keep a cool head. What's the black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. We was, uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. Damn. Um... How's he not dying? Things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yes, I ski. Lenny! These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur.
sit on those rifles too long. <laughs> sure thing. That nigga changed quick as hell. Pearson. Hello, Mr. Morgan. This sulking, it's becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Ah, oh, shut up. Gladly. She was talking about she was in love with him earlier. Some poles and whiskey, like the waves of the bay of the biscuit. I don't need this right now. I began to tumble. <laughs> that nigga woke up drinking. You okay? Sure. So, what do you think of this place? Better than your little hermit camp, right? Oh, it's wonderful, Arthur. Thank you for asking. Yep. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure. I trust all's well. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. It's cool when they it's do it. It's a problem when I do it. Very good. Fuck. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy. But I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be laws. Something about Karen. Makes you want to go crazy. Boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Mina. If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. Is that Lenny? Is the take good? According to the fella I met. I don't remember doing this mission either. I must have just did plenty of money, straight plenty of main stuff. No shy that. stuff at all. That's not like that. All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, it is the morning. Get out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. 
right. Let's go. Hey, you got that trench coat. That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, hey, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan now? Sorry, look at the clothes. Send on in ahead as a, uh, that little bitch is a busty. There's a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Follow me. I can go. Mm. Passing you. Okay. So. Tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. Need a work. Once he's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. <laughs> hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. Got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. <laughs> I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I put a pool up there. Couple of punch ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through, drive Cornwall's train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine. We rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. 
If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Glad you and Lenny are alone for this, Karen. Someone's gotta keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> How about we wait till after the bank, all right? Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So, what's going on with these two families? The Greys and whatever the other one's called? It's more Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Good morning. Hi. Okay, let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay, get ready. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's got him real dead. Someone! 
want to come make sure the suit behaves himself in here. Come here. <clears throat> Open the lock boxes now. I Come on, let me move, the bro. Does that. I God damn it. Now what? I guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you uh, better be quick. <clears throat> you shut the hell up and stay still. I don't even know how. Alright, uh, it don't matter if you go past it or not. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I'm ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. I wonder where Arthur learned how to crack safes. Let's go. Everybody stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Look, 
You'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp, and make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. This is Downs. <sighs> I'm confused because on my tablet it says two people still that just went down to one. So if you still in here, drop up. I see. not cold in the ground and you've come back here Archie I nearly paid off what was owed your husband knew the rules when he took that money now I'm real sorry about the way things turned out but he had a choice Ain't my fault about the way the world is he didn't have a choice he was good and he did good there wasn't no choice in that and you've as good as killed him yourself and don't kid yourself you had a choice you speak as if killing was something I cared about you ever wonder about eternity should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, oh, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. <clears throat> $20,000? God. The gang is rich. Who can quit? What's up? All 
Alright. What's up? Red Dead Redemption. You know that if you subscribe to my YouTube, nigga. Now nah, I'm just playing with you. <laughs> I was fucking with you. Huh? Rest of us. Rest of us are slipping. Every day is long but short at the same time. In our work. You fall. She ain't complain. Hey, I don't care what she say. I mean, she ain't got to say nothing as long as her mouth shut. It's shut. As long as she shut up and get in the kitchen. <laughs> you said what? She tell me that she's going to get strangled. On record. They can't hear you anyway. Talking to the internet. You hear that future wife? Be prepared to get strangled. Mr. Pearson, quite a country, quite a country. You know, sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> Too many men. This world? Probably just joined the party, that's what it was. Huh? <laughs> and this nigga like, gonna leave the party. <laughs> Idiots! I've seen things, sir. I've seen terrible things. Bad things, bad things, bad things. Mom, leave me alone. I want to be famous. I want to be famous. My doctor said I got ADHD. Stay away from me. Oh, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. It always is with you. Huh? Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. Ass, dick. Sad man indeed. Uh, herpes and diabetes. Is that right? <laughs> but that doesn't like. <laughs> Where's the acronyms? Man, you need to throw that shit away, Arthur. He's not in the party. I know something like two party in Three. Yeah, I didn't know because I was about to say, I didn't see your party invite, but I was looking at my phone. Because I guess when you stream it, it won't pop up. But I was looking at my phone and I seen dad's invite and then yours was like 18 minutes before that. Save you. Save everybody. You know me. I'll go back to black. 
backwater and get the money. Meet you all someplace and we'll be home free. That's it. Man, I'm over here talking to you, man. You done was, went to an old another party. Yeah, since that, mate. And they LA can't even hear me. Yeah, man, I'm over here talking to you, man, and you go to a whole nother party. <laughs> okay. Talking to another party? Morning, Arthur. Yeah, I got I'll die. Trying to join y'all party. Don't say nothing crazy. <laughs> okay, fella. That's why I'm about to dodge you. <laughs> I was joking. But you know, you know what dodge means? So I give you your name and your address. I just did. I said it's when they, it's when they get, uh, give your name and your address and like where you work and all that stuff. Yep. Nah, it's in the people, and they got three wins. How? Tell me. Doxing is different because you're just giving out the information. Oh, this is what you about to do. I better right. not sell me. I'm on a six hour stream right now. And I'm going to end that. So y'all better not sell me. <laughs> yep. Y'all about to get on right now though? What time is it? 6.30. I got time to run one. The story mode. But I play online if niggas up there. But you know, that's like a whole that's one of those games is a thousand gigabytes. So you're gonna have to decide which games you wanna play. Yeah, true. Bright stream. It's been a good one. It's my longest stream so far. My next day off, I'm gonna try to go for a seven hour stream. But I appreciate y'all, the ones that did drop by and drop comments. I'll see y'all later.